Hi guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am working on a fun project for my design team project for Ula La Vintage Treasures. I'm using her ballet dreams kit and I put together um, this cute little ice cream cone flip from her digitals. So she gave us a bunch of these circular type of cutouts and this gorgeous wallpaper piece so I used that and I and then I glued the striped paper on the back so that it could be a journaling spot or you can put a picture on the back and maybe then you know write the date or something like that so I'm going to do a little tag flip but I wanted to show you how I assembled everything so this will be the front page I believe so far from what I have put together and then I took um if you remember these little embossed watering water cups, it just looked like a little ice cream cone to me. So I decided to use that as, as part of the decoration of the ice cream cone flip. So this is one of the other ballet shoes photo with the violin. And I'm gonna put that on the outside. And then I used the nut cup that she embossed here, the pink ones. And I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put this inside the cup. And I think I'm going to glue this part to the back of the nut cup. Whoops. And this is going to glue just on the cone and that way it can have a pocket in there so that's that and then I used her cute doilies in the back and this is going to go on the other side because on the other side I'm going to have this beautiful photo I just layered a few things from her kit behind the doilies just to kind of give it some more dimension and stuff back there but we're going to add lots of stuff as we decorate i just kind of wanted to give you the idea of how i put this together so that when i come back i'm going to have all of these circular pieces sewn and then i'm going to glue them together but i can't do that until i sew it so i kind of wanted to show you how i put this together here's another piece of the wall paper of a different wallpaper it has this really cool texture and then I added this little triangular um, piece that she had in the kit and then I made it into a little pocket so I have cut down some of her ephemera from oh, what was this kit this is the chiffon elegance kit and she has some really cute pieces of ephemera in there and so I tuck that behind there so that will probably go like this so I'm just putting everything face down and here's my next cone and this is from the chiffon elegance kit as well it goes really nicely with the ballet dreams and I had um, two coffee dyed doilies in my own stash and then on this side, I was thinking about using this piece of uh, wrapping paper. Looks like a champagne colored glitter. And then I was gonna glue this other piece on the back. That way, um, you know, it can you can write on the back. So just kind of laying things out together and then I paper clipped them just so I would know how I wanted it to look. And then this would be the next page in my tag flip. So I'm using the circular pieces as well. And then on the back, I put some of this lined graph paper. So that will be another page. And then this will be the next page, I believe. Um, I did the other pink nut cup, this beautiful wallpaper piece. Can you see that? I can't tell if it's flurry or not. It's so cool, right? And then I used one of the um, 
pieces. I think that was like a cupcake liner maybe. And then another doily I had in my stash and a music, pa music paper. And then this was another digital that she included in the circular format. So I was thinking maybe that was the back, you know, um, leaving the ballet studio. <laughs> but anyway, so this is what I'm going to um, work on with you. So I'll be back um, after I sew up these pieces and, and then we'll decorate. All right, be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and I've sewn all of the circles. I had somewhat of an experience with that. Um, my Viking seemed to work better with, with the gold thread. It's, it was okay though. I think it still looks good. I just um, had some trouble on a few, but it'll be okay. So I think this is going to be, I don't know, I think I might make this the front page, but I'm not 100% sure yet, because I can always put this next. We'll, we'll play with it in betweens, but we know that we want these like this. So let's go ahead and work on one of these. So I'm going to disassemble it so you can kind of see what I did. Okay, so this is the back. Right, so I put these doilies back to back just so that it would line up easier. And it doesn't really honestly have to line up because it just kind of gives a, diff a separate layer, another layer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this round piece and I'm just gonna glue it inside here. So for this, I'm gonna use, I think some hot glue on the back here. Okay, so I just drew a line there so I know exactly where I'm gonna Put the glue. All right. So that will give me this pocket open. And then I was going to take this one. This one I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to put glue just at the top for right now. I'm just going to put a line of glue right here because for right now I want this here, but if I want to add trims under here, then I don't want that all glued down. But I need to visually see where this stuff is going. So I'm just going to do that. Make sure my picture is lined up. And my little guy here. All right. So now what that's going to do is that's going to glue this onto the outer pocket. And now I still have this pocket available on the inside. Okay. And I still have the ability to add any lace trim that I want around there and even around here. So I'm going to do that. Then we're going to take these two doilies here. And we're going to add this to the back of this. Like so. All 
All right, so for now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just tack this here. Okay. Because I want to be able to see what I'm doing here. Okay, and then I will just tack this here as well. Now you don't have to use the hot glue, I'm just using it for easeability and I just feel like that's what I want to use right now. But I probably would prefer the Fabri-Tac. So I took one of these pieces that she had, it was square and I cut around it to, to cut the flower out. And I kind of wanted to use this piece that she included. But what I might do is I might just cut this because I wanted to have some showing. Not here. Want us going the right way. So that's kind of what I'm thinking here. Now for this one, I'm gonna do the same. I'm just gonna tack it in the middle. just temporary so that I can stuff little bits inside if I want to. Okay, and that's the beginning of the first ice cream cone. Let's see what else do I have here. And um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and probably Let's go ahead and try to decorate this one first. That way we can kind of see. So I kind of wanted this one as the main image in the, in the front. So I have all of these cute little bits. You can add these, you know, I'm just gonna add little bits here. little toppings and stuff. Remember, we're just going to add it little places. We don't want to close this pocket. Because I still want to be able to tuck in, you know, some journaling cards or we'll see what else. But Let's cut this piece. It's so cute. I want to cut this here. Mm -hmm. I want to just cut. I'm just going to cut a little tiny bit of this off. Just so the sequins don't come off. Okay. This was the mesh that I cut off of the little flower kind of look like this oh let's see what do I want under here I 
feel like I need some of these little sprinkles or something. Something like that. Sort of kind of like this, too. Let's see. Kind of want to tuck that here. and elsewhere but that'll be fun to tuck right under here or even right here these pieces hanging here. My gosh, I love this. It looks so cute. Just shoving stuff in that I think would look cute in there. Without covering these cute um, ballet shoes. Yeah. 
How does that look? Looks really cute. So I'm wondering if I should have popped this up a little bit. Just have this out more. Okay. For right now, I think I'm just going to leave this. And I might put one of the little hearts right here. I'm not sure yet. I have to decide. But something's going to go there. All right. So there's the beginning of our little ice cream cone. We don't want to cover up that cute. All right, guys. So here's the beginning to our little tag flip. I think I might use gold because I did use go gold trim, but you know, we do have a little bit of silver too. So that might be too overpowering. Oh, here's the silver one. So I'm thinking I might do it kind of at an angle over here. You know, like maybe here and then it would be tucking in right over here so yeah those are the things you got to think about you know this one I'm probably gonna close off once I add maybe I don't know maybe a piece of trim or something I'll see how I feel but it's really coming along so far I think <laughs> At least because I have all the pages put together, I have them sewn. So now it'll just be decorating all of the little elements that go in the tag flip. So I think this is the next page, something like this. And I just want like bits and pieces hanging everywhere. So that'll be super cute. And then like get the little pocket in the back. It looks so fun so far. All right, okay, so this'll be the, um, the little ice cream cone flip that I'm working on for my design team project for Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And I will leave the links to her digitals below her Etsy shop. So go check Doreen out. And um, this kit is part of her Crystal and Pearls Kit Club, which you have to be a member of the Facebook group to pretty much find out about the kits and when she has signups, um, as there is a waiting list to get on there. But that doesn't mean that you can't make these cute little um, ice cream cone embellishments. Even if you just made this as an embellishment, you could attach this um, with lots of tucks and stuff in your in your journal so that would be a fun and look i put ice cream with ballet who would have thought <laughs> all right guys thanks so much for stopping by i hope you like this little project so far um i might be back to decorate the rest depending on how um, the rest of my week goes and if not, um, I might just finish it and then I'll show you the final result. All right. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.